So at the end of this class, we got to go out just by ourselves and have the greatest time of our lives and just get down and boogie when we did our hip hop. That was exhilarating. I have never done anything like it. It, just, it was so loud, like I could barely hear the music over them. So I learned that a lot of these teams are amazing. They have so much skill and I can't wait to go up against them. When people think of Alaska, they think of like a foreign country. Like they don't really think we're part of the US. We're really just like everyone else. It's just a little colder. <laughs> Juno Douglas High School was the first high school in Juno. Basically everyone and their parents went there. We didn't do dancing, it was only drill and military. Attention. Hands loop. Left face. Oh no! <laughs> As the years went on, we slowly developed into a dance team. So we do military and we do drill, but then we also do styles such as hip hop and palm. <laughs> Light March is very unique to our school and our dance team. We do it at home games for our Crimson Bears basketball team. The JDHS dance team has been around in some form or another since the 1950s, but it was sort of struggling and they were thinking about dropping the program. So they said, if you'll take it, we'll keep it going. Of course, I had bigger dreams than that. 1993, we won our first national championship, and then 95, we won three of them. We went to Japan. Here we were, it was kind of like, it felt like a mini Olympics in terms of the pageantry and all the teams from the different countries that were there. We were sort of the dark horse. We won in all three of the categories that we competed. I was about 12 when they went to Japan. It was huge. It was on the front page of the paper. There was a parade when they got home. They like named a day after the team. It was so exciting and incredible. Our whole community was really excited. They were a part of it. They'd either come and supported us one way or another. Things sort of cycle around. I think there was a couple of years where things were a struggle again. There's a lot of challenges that we face being a little more remote than a lot of the teams down in the lower 48. A lot of those teams do multiple competitions in a year. Juno, I think this will be their third competition in like 19 years. We have a lot of fans and we have a lot of supporters and we get a lot of love, but when it comes to Basketball in particular, we get booted a lot. We're not really considered a sport at our school. A lot of times we're referred to as an activity. We have to fundraise all our own money by going to local businesses and like asking if they'll donate and support our cause. It makes it hard to go places and hey, grow. Hey, hey. Doing well at this competition would be a huge benefit to our program to show people that we're more than just entertainment at halftime basketball games. We are still here working hard. We're still representing Juno and representing Alaska in general. Coming back with a title, everyone in town would be, that is our dance team. We are proud of our dance team. Okay, good job. Go and let's go. Well, okay, we got some things to do. We got some practice to do. <laughs> You're not started.
have a little break right now, and we can only do five minutes on here today, so I'm gonna have you for five minutes hang out here, or if you wanna go back, whatever okay. you'd like to do. I'm the manager of camp and competition sales for DTU. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, sorry. As a coach with DTU, I felt heard and I felt important and I felt valued and that we could be who we wanted to be. I can't even quite describe it, but just this feeling in my heart that as, as the company was forming, that it was about something bigger. It was about something that was for coaches and for the teams. I, I kept gravitating towards ZT and I, I wanted to be a part of it. This past year, as I've now spent almost a year not coaching, um, I've realized what a big impact it has had on me and truly my identity has been wrapped up in being a coach. Um, the good and the bad of that. Leaving the team, it was hard. It is who I am, and an Eagleette is just a part of a part of me. And so, um, walking away was probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. Hello, my Eaglets. This is Mrs. Heptig. I just wanted to wish you the best of luck at Spring Show tonight. I want you to close your eyes, and I want you to think about what Eaglets means to you. Think about why you tried out to be on this team. Think about all those that have danced before you and who would give anything to be back where you are, no, myself included. Um, okay. I came into this team like not knowing what to expect and it kicked my butt. I came into like a strong group of seniors. They were like, get on board and let's go. And that year taught me how to fight for a national championship, why I wanted a national championship. And then that year we lost a lot of those seniors. Transitioning and changing has always been hard for us, but we've always made it. This year, well, we have new coaching, so that's different. It's a different environment, you know? I don't know, it, it doesn't feel the same that it did before. I would say that we aren't held to the same standard. Um, I don't think we work as hard. It's nothing but our officers leading us and props to them because they're doing a very good job of it. As a senior, I feel like I have to be like, this is what you do, this is what you do, and then it like causes drama for us because we're basically the coaches. As a senior, it's hard because this is what I'm leaving behind and I don't want to leave behind something that I'm not proud of. This is our starting point, really, if we're being honest. Like this whole last week, we figured out the routine because we, since we have fallen behind, we had to like figure out choreography. How are you? Yeah, dealing with it. Yes. I, I think I'm... We're not very happy about it. For me, it's frustrating because we have two national titles to live up to. If I had Miss Heptic as a coach right now, personally, I'd feel better going into like college tryouts and I'd feel better going into nationals. At this point, I hope we place. I just have a feeling that we won't win. Through all the highs and all the lows and everything in between, know that you are a stronger person, a stronger dancer, and most importantly, a stronger team because of it all. I am so proud of every single one of you. One love always. In December, I think the girls um, felt really defeated and as captains and as coaches, we've kind of come back together um, and I think we found the one love aspect of the team that we kind of lost within, within this school year. We've realized that if we want it, we have to work for it and we will work for it. There's been bruises, bumps, broken things, but we're here. We're here to win. It was really hard for me not to be a part of it. What I hoped is that the lessons that we learned that I, that I tried to teach them, I, I hope that that was instilled. Hey, hey, hold up. North has got this thing sewn up. Hey, hold up. North has got this thing sewn up. To get to see them fight through the challenges and everything throughout the year proved that they were listening. They, it, it had, I had made a difference. We all realize that 
We really needed to do it because we had a story to tell. There should be no we could have. There should be we did. All right, ready? One, two, three, go! One, two, three, four, five! It's been a complete 180. I saw their emotion. I saw the story that they've experienced this year coming through. I'm so proud of them, and they're doing an incredible job. different championships so coming into this dance team I had I felt like I had some big shoes to fill some different sports have become popular with girls so we've dwindled down here we started with three over the summer when you have a small team you don't know if it's going to even be a team we weren't really sure what was gonna happen she came as a coach when I was a freshman. We did everything together and we learned everything about dancing green waves along the way. Oh, hi. Hi. Well, here's the team. Hi. Hi. Shannon and I work to build this bigger and bigger each year. It doesn't seem to get bigger, it just seems to get smaller. So it's like all of our hard work just doesn't go anywhere. It's my biggest fear that dancing green waves won't be a thing anymore. Me and the three girls did what we could. We went and talked to studio girls. We held more auditions in the fall. Smile, smile. One more. One more. Then we did it. We did it. We got three more girls. We're testing our limits, see how far we can push ourselves to build our program and really see what we can accomplish against a bigger division of teams. They know all eyes are on them. You can't hide when there's five, six of you out there. They want to leave a mark and have no regrets. It definitely does make me nervous, but I think we do have something to prove. I think we're kind of a powerhouse, honestly. What are your hopes for Nationals? Um, well, obviously, I hope that we are able to win. Actually, scratch that. 
I hope everyone can see all of the sacrifices that we've made. The pain, tears, the blood, everything. Please welcome Olathe North!